This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2003 Ford F-250. Uh, it's a four-door super cab. It's a long bed. It's a 6 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. Obviously, it's got a lift. It's got a uh, uh, six-inch lift. It's sitting on 315s, which are about 34-inch tires, and which are brand new. Truck has 135,199 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased uh, from uh, an insurance company in Fontana, California, which is basically LA. It is on a salvage title due to theft, which is really insane on this one. Basically, if you watch the little three minute animated, animated video that we have in our ad on salvage theft, uh, it'll tell you a little bit better detail. But basically, you see attorneys for the insurance companies. They don't want their client, the insurance company, to have any more liability. They've already paid out a fortune on this thing. So their way of uh, immunizing themselves from being sued in the future by us or by the people we sell it to is by giving it a salvage title. That implies no warranty and that's why they do it, okay? Anyway, we get them here to Tucson, we do an inspection. This is what it looks like. And then I got my little cheat sheets down here. It's got brand new 315 uh, BFGs uh, tires, uh, driver mirrors new, windshields new, driver door cylinder and handles new. They broke that when they stole the truck. The ignition's new. They broke that when they stole it. We've got a Rotella oil and filter. Both batteries. Uh, front and rear brake pads. Front sway bar links and steering stabilizer strut is new. And the carrier bearing is new. Um, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to show you what's happening with this thing. Uh, beautiful truck. Really nice truck. This is the lift that came on it. it was a, it's a pro comp lift and they did a good job runs and drives great the paint looks awesome there's just a couple little places where it's touched up um, sweet truck this is not going to be fast so i i will say while i'm walking around here that whoever's on this truck uh if we accept an offer make sure you got your deposit ready to go uh, we just had this thing this little bug killer here does have a crack in it. We could take it off for you, but uh, I'd leave it on until you have a replacement. They're not that expensive. Um, anyway, get your deposit. We just had a deal yesterday where people were bidding on the same truck at the exact same time. We accepted offers from both of them, and it was a race to get the deposit in. And he beat her, and now she's all over us saying that she's mad that she didn't get it and blah, blah, blah. She was slow. Simple as that. You know, be ready and know how to work the internet and how to get a deposit in. It's a very quick and simple process, but uh, she wasn't ready. And she lost a really nice truck, and she knows it. And uh, the guy who got it psyched. Simple as that. It's kind of weird timing. That's, it happens once in a while where people are slow getting them in and, and they get beat, but that was like literally at the same time. Uh, these people were uh, offering online at the exact same time. It was really weird. Let's see if I can open this guy up here. The old one-handed thing. Drop the clipboard there. Let's see if I can figure out how to work this thing. And the answer is... No, I can't. I don't know how to work it. Hmm. No, this side, this side is locked. There it is. Donk. There. I would say the struts on this lift gate aren't working. So maybe we can find a couple struts for it to hold it up better. I'm sure the next owner isn't going to like that very much. So, the lift gate needs struts. There you go. And I just found out the hard way. I suppose if struts on the uh, lift window on the uh, camper shell are the only problems this thing has, that would be unbelievably good news. And I think that that's exactly the case. A little scratch there.
There you go. All right, grab the keys here. All right, let me fire this guy up. And we'll go under the hood. All right. 135,205 miles. There you go. All right, people always want as much information as they can get, and we want to give it to you. So, there's the Kelly Blue Book. That's with the miles on an XLT extra cab. Suggested retail price, 14828 There's your equipment. The equipment list will be in the uh, ads. So you don't have to freeze this video to read it. Um, let's see, what else we got? We have Carfax. There's your VIN. Branded title due to th salvage, and that's because of the theft, which I will show you. So it's a California truck. Boom, 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 boom. A lot of California service here at the dealer, which is good. And then it was stolen on May 31st, 2016, and recovered on 6 2 2016. So it was gone three days. There you go. All right, I'm going to open up the hood. And I'll take the oil cap off and look for a blow by first. I see none. That is a very good thing, which doesn't really surprise me based on the condition of this truck. It's in great shape. There's the Ford stamp there. You want to see these on the fenders? You want to see one here? There's one right here. On the core support, stickers where they belong. This all indicates that nothing's been replaced up front. Got a sticker there from Ford, and you got a stamp there. Nice truck. Really nice truck. And being on a salvage title is going to save you a lot of money. This thing would be a very expensive truck on a clear title. Clearly, extremely well taken care of. Looks like nobody's ever been in the back seat. Bolsters are in great shape. <laughs> We got the little packet for the wheel lock key. That's to hold down the uh, jack. That's a nice weather guard uh, mat. Window. Yep, everything looks from there. Yeah, oh, I just saw that. That little ding right here. A little white touch-up paint would help there. Boy. This thing looks great. Here's your bit on the door. Window up, down, down. Let's see, door locks. There you go. Mirrors out, in, up, down. Other side out, in, up, down. Seat, forward, back, up, down. Works fine. Tilt wheel, that works, good. I think I need a step though. That step, that's uh, I think if you buy this, you're gonna want a step unless you're well over six feet tall, which is not me. I'm well under. All right, get a seatbelt on here. All right, turn up the air, it's hot. All right, there's your uh, power pedals, up and down. Oh, uh, let's see, so you get some brake controls here that trailer brake cassette CD player small batch ice cream 
So stop in and try one of our many fudgy delicious flavors. Or quench your... There we go. Radio works fine. Cup holder. Let's see. Overdrive. There's that. We tilt the wheel down. All right. Let's see. Put it into neutral. Then we go to four low. There's four low up there. Okay. Drive. And reverse. And I want to test out the uh, parking sensors too. Four high. Drive in four high. And reverse in four high. And neutral. Now I'm going to go to two wheel drive. I'm going to back it up here and test these parking sensors. About half the time they don't work, so let's find out. There you go, they're working just fine. All right, let's go for a ride. This truck is being sold on a salvage title. If you come to Tucson and drive it home, obviously you need plates and insurance. You can get neither on a salvage title. So before you get here, we would have to take it to Motor Vehicles to get a level three inspection done. We charge $200 to do that before you get here. 50 goes to the state, 150 goes to cover our guy being gone for yeah, between four and 10 hours, depending on how long and how much police action they have down there. Um, so there's $200 to restore the title, and that's mandatory. Once we get the title restored uh, to a restored salvage status, then you can get insurance and we can issue you plates. So that's mandatory, obviously. Um, $250 dock fee, and then we have taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson plus your state tax. So very simply, if you come here to drive it home, which you're welcome to do, it's a beautiful truck, it'd be a good ride home, uh, you will pay $200 to restore the title, a $250 dock fee, and then your state tax rate plus our city of 2%. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price, and that's it. Um, unless you want us to restore the title before it ships out, um, add $200, click on the restore button, and we'll do that. Um, once we receive your wire, if you're going to ship, once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name and your address, your company's name and address, um, notarize it, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file so you'll be able to see it online immediately. Um, and then we will mail it to you. Um, we even uh, scan in the uh, envelope that we mail it in. Um, so, blah, 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 what else? Uh, deposit, deposit is $500. Once you receive your deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it is for sale. So please get your deposit in. Uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> yesterday was an ugly experience for some woman. I think she must, as angry as she was, she must have had it committed to her husband or her boyfriend or something, but she was too slow. She got beat. You know, so the computers don't lie, and she was late. I uh, checked the logs and everything, and she was late. So the other guy got it. Anyway, so make sure you get your deposit in so there's no drama like that. Warranty speech. Um, it's a, what is it now, 14-year-old truck with 135,000 miles. It's way out of warranty standards for, by the people who built it, by Ford. All right? Um, if they aren't going to give it a 20-year, 300,000-mile warranty, we aren't either. They built it. They know more than we know. Um, we know a lot. We look for you know all the signs of trouble, and there are none here. That being said, it could get to your house and need something immediately. Um, it could need uh, uh, you know who knows a window motor or a radio knob or an injector or who knows. And if it does, you're buying it. We are not writing checks for anything. Okay, so uh, the goal of these videos is to search out the right buyer. Uh, we know we can sell this thing many times over in a week, um, but we like to find the people who we know read the uh, uh, the ad, we know watch the videos because we can see online if you did or not, um, and uh, then we know that we have the right person to buy the vehicle. We don't want dreamers. We don't want people thinking that oh, when it gets here and something's broken, they're going to fix it. No, we're not, and we're not writing a check for that. Okay. Uh, we give you tons of information, but at the end of the day, we cannot remove all the risk. Um, just like no one cared about it, the risk we took when we bought it, um, you're on your own when you buy it, okay? Uh, anyway, that's that. I've got that ugliness out of the way. This is a hell of a truck, man. I'm driving down. This is a terrible road, and it's killing it. Um, really nice truck. Uh, check the ad out. Thank you for your time.